up YouTube, this is Jcap, and today I'm bringing you guys another video. Today, I'm talking about the most recent roster change for the uh, FaZe competitive squad. For those of you who didn't hear today, we have officially dropped Nameless from the squad and picked up Proofy, who recently left NVS about two days ago, I would say, or so. So, that's what will happen. Basically, bottom line is, there's no hard feelings with Nameless. Uh... It really just came down to the fact that we weren't clicking as a team. We were just getting manhandled whenever we online, whenever we scrimmed. And I know people are like, oh, well, online doesn't mean that much. And, you know, like, you shouldn't use online to judge your team's ability. But I actually agree with that mentality, just so you guys are clear, just so we're clear. But at the same time, when you are just clearly getting outplayed by basically every team you're up against, it's something has to change. You guys, there's a million dollars tournament. That you have to, we were qualifying for in about a week, and then after that, there's another qualifier in two weeks. And I mean, we just couldn't go into that qualifier with a squad that we weren't confident in. I mean, we're risking missing out on the biggest tournament if we do that. So we figured we had to make a change. And you know, with Proofy as a free agent, he's my former teammate, obviously on Envy most recently in Black Ops 2, and then we were actually together on Optic back on Black Ops 1. And, we actually won MLG Orlando together and got, I think, third at Providence at the national championships together. So, Proofy's on my good friends in gaming. There's no, uh, it's obviously a well-documented history between us, you know, Dose J, all that stuff. So, I'm looking forward to playing with him. We feel like he's just really going to add a lot of slaying power to the team, which is something we've really been missing lately. We just, I don't know, lately in Instagram is part of the reason we've been getting outplayed so bad is because we straight up cannot outslay anyone or we couldn't outslay anyone and for those of you who know proofy which i'm sure most of you do but proofy is a slayer proofy always has been just a straight up slayer he's got one of the best shots in the game and that's what we hope he does for us is just kill things if he kills things that's great the more things he kills in fact the better so and that's really the mindset behind it. it's not too much like it wasn't like oh nameless is a bad player you know nameless is playing bad you know nameless is holding us back is we didn't we didn't mesh together with Nameless. You know, the first day or two we screamed with him, we didn't we were playing well together. Actually, we thought we meshed perfectly, and then as we played more, it just kind of got to the point we were like, it just wasn't working. It was like we were all on completely different pages in game. We were some of us were trying to do this, you know, other people were trying to do this, and together as a team, it just it was ugly to watch. To be honest, I'm sure. I mean, I didn't go back and watch any of it, but. You know, I was streaming the scrims. I'm sure if you go back and watch it, it was it's probably ugly. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, no hard feelings with Nameless. It's just when a team's not working out and you have a tournament for a million dollars in, what is it now, two months from now, you don't really have a ton of time to be, you know, just sticking with a team and trying to figure out little things. You have to figure out a roster that works together. And then you can make, like, as long as you guys are like, comfortable together, then you can try to improve the roster. But we felt like we weren't even comfortable as a team. We just weren't, like, we weren't really even a team. We were just kind of playing like it was like an H lobby, it felt like. But, like I said, that's really all the, the all the thought that went into it. It's not, like I said, it's not anything against Nameless. You know, he's a good player. I hope he ends up on a good squad. It sucks that we have to make the roster changes, especially this close, you know. I feel like we're putting him in a bad situation, and I feel terrible about that. But at the same time, it it wouldn't have helped any of us if we had gone to champs, if we even qualified for champs with the roster we had. We felt like there was no shot of us getting in, barely getting into the top eight, let alone winning the event if we got there. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to playing with Proof. You know, you guys can check out some, um, maybe some scrims tonight and probably the uh, Winter Invitational matches. You'll probably be able to check out some of those on MLG TV with Proof. I'll have a link in the description for you guys below. Like I said, we'll, I uh, actually just talked to Pocket about it. We'll probably be playing with Proof, assuming everything is approved on MLG's end. He'll be able to play with us tonight, and that will probably be like our very first time playing together. So we'll get an instant feel for how we're playing together in a match that actually like matters and means something to us. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys like the video. I hope you guys... Uh, I feel good about the new roster for all the FaZe fans out there. You know, FaZe up. And like I said, that's all I got. So, as always, this has been JCAP. We will see you later. Peace.